My name is Gavin Quigley and I am a consultant neurosurgeon here um, in Belfast in the UK. I work in a large uh, NHS teaching hospital and uh, we cover the full range of neurosurgery. Um, we provide care for a population of approximately 1.8 million and they range from uh, neonates uh, right up. The two of us spend at least half our time doing paediatric neurosurgery in addition to our cranial work. Neurosurgery is primarily technology based and, and most of the developments in neurosurgery have over the last 50 years have related to improvements in technology. When we look back, really the developments have been with imaging technology. Um, we've got the advent of CT scanning and then MRI scanning, the integration of our image guidance systems with ultrasound and ultimately MR scanning. And those are things that have really changed the face of neurosurgery. We've been users of ultrasound during cranial and spinal surgery for the last five or six years. And we've really found it very useful, um, giving us real time, live updates um, of what we're doing. It's taken us a little bit of time to get used to interpreting the images, but I think most of us now in the department are very comfortable with that. And we've, we find it really a, a very useful adjunct to standard imaging. We've been using the uh, BK Medical System now for uh, two years. We have actually introduced it to our children's hospital as well because we find it so useful. And in fact, our uh, anaesthetic colleagues um, prefer to use our BK system. And we actually have a linear transducer for them and they use it for central line and arterial line insertion. So it's often used right from the start of the case from the anaesthetic and then handed over to the neurosurgeons. I think everybody's been very comfortable with it and we find it very useful. We've also been able to integrate it into our image guidance system and um, we've just recently been able to get the new adapters for the ultrasound probes and we're then able to track them with our existing brain lab system. And I think that's one of the really useful things for, um, for neurosurgeons is that uh, the, the difficulty with ultrasound has been, particularly when looking cranial, is that you can use the ultrasound probe in any direction and frequently the surgeons are unsure which direction they're really looking at. The, the advantage of linking it to the brain lab is that it gives us a clear direction compared to the pre-op image and it's much easier to relate to what you're seeing on the ultrasound and I think with practice um, the interpretation of what we're looking at improves and I would suggest that everybody if they're going to invest in an ultrasound is linking it to their image guidance system so that you've got a really good idea of which direction you're looking at and you're much more familiar um, with the ultrasound appearances and how they relate to um, pathology. The ultrasound allows us to look at the degree of brain shift we might be seeing. It gives us an idea of um, you know, how, how much that might be and whether we, can, whether we need to adjust what we're doing surgically to correct for that. It gives us real-time updates as well of position of cysts, whether we've decompressed them. We can look at catheter position. We can track needle position with a live image. Um, and it's used widely to judge the degree of resection, particularly in high-grade brain tumours where there's a very clear interface, at least on ultrasound, between um, what appears to be high-grade tumour and normal brain. So you can look for um, post-operative hematomas, so you, blood shows up very clearly on intracranial ultrasound, and you can certainly do a quick ultrasound sweep when you're closing up, make sure there's no obvious hematoma in the cavity. We've used it uh, quite often our trainees will use it at night where they're looking to take out intracerebral hematomas. They show up very well. We can use the Doppler feature to make sure that there's no bi biphasic flow suggestive of an AVM. So it can be used for complication avoidance. Um, and, and even simple things like looking for pieces of redundant shunt tubing under the skin. Ultrasound can be very useful to find those pieces of uh, tubing and we've used it um, for, the, for that purpose alone at times. I think the advantage of the BK system is it's easy to set up. We've got two specific cranial probes. Um, the resolution and screen image is, is excellent um, and it's very easy to be adjusted in theatre and our staff are comfortable with the adjustment. And it's also a nice portable design. It fits into a small crowded neurosurgical theatre very well.